Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth. Now, in today's video, I'm doing another product review. So, the product I have here is by Kinky Curly, and it's the original curling custard. So, is this product right here now? To be honest, this isn't a product that I would ever review. This looks similar to the Shea Moisture Curling Souffle, something souffle, and that product was a total miss for me. It kind of looks like this. So this is something that I would never reach out to, but I was at Target, which why do I go there? So when I was at Target, uh, one of the workers there had curly hair. Of course, if you have curly hair and if you see someone else who has curly hair, you guys instantly become BFFs because you guys are talking about your routine. So she was mentioned this is one of the products that she loves and I was like, you know what, F it. Let me go ahead and review it. Maybe I might like it. Maybe I might not. But uh, let's go ahead and try it out, man. Let's keep an open mind. So this product, I got it at Target and it retails for $16.99. Instantly transform thick, dry, frizzy hair into silky spirals and wonderful waves. This advanced botanical formula will eliminate frizz, define curls, provide long-lasting hold, lock in moisture, give brilliant shine. To open cut here, what the heck? I need scissors, I need tools. <laughs> oh, it has a seal. Cool. Oh my god, I'm gonna break a nail. I'm gonna have to stab this? No. You try to peel it, it don't work. It don't take out the whole thing. Ooh, the sweet! Oh, this is sweet. Oh, the scent. Icing? No, it smells like icing to me. Anthony, smell this. It smells oh, like frosting. That's vanilla frosting. Come on, frosting. Yeah, that's vanilla frosting. Yeah, that is vanilla frosting right here. I Unexpected. A little bit. Let's see how it is. It looks sticky, but it's very, very slippery. Wow, that's a lot of slip. Nice. Slippy, slippy. Okay, so this is pretty much all I'm going to apply to my hair right now. I'm going to go ahead and let it air dry, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. So with this product, um, I didn't really go through the directions word for word, which is something that I should have, but I didn't. So when I went to the bathroom and I read that for thick, coarse curls, it states hair must be dripping wet, I was like, oh snap. It wasn't when I was recording. So when I was recording the video with you guys and applying it, my hair wasn't completely dripping wet, which my bad but when I went to the bathroom um, I did apply more water and I did apply more products so I did fix it so don't come for me because I did fix it in the bathroom I just wanted to state that that I did fix it um, so let's start with some of the things I'm noticing for my day one hair so I don't know if you guys can see but my hair is looking pretty shiny usually on camera it might not pick it up but in person there is some nice shine so I'm really liking that so this product did leave me with a cast but after I broke it up my hair is feeling nice and soft so I'm really liking that um, and the definition, I think that my curls are looking pretty defined. So pretty much these are just my first impressions of this product right here. I want to keep it short and to the point because I want to save my overall opinions of it for tomorrow. So I'm going to keep trying this product out and I'll see you guys for day two. So today is going to be the second and final day of me reviewing this kinky curly, not today. No, nope, that's not the product. Of me reviewing this kinky curly curling custard. So I could give you guys my overall opinions of this product right now. I'm just going to go through what this product claims that it does and see if I agree with it. And then we'll go from there. Let's wing it, baby. This advanced botanical formula will eliminate frizz. I think it did a good job of that. As you guys can see, my hair doesn't look too frizzy. The next thing it said, it was going to define curls. My curls are looking pretty defined. It got some good curl definition, so I'm always a fan of that. You guys know that I love curl definition, especially long-lasting curl definition. Usually day two hair is best for me. Day one is a little bit flat and boring, but day two and especially day three are my favorites, but day two I think it looks defined and I really like that. Provide long lasting hold. This product did have a cast yesterday but after I broke that up my hair was feeling nice and soft. This morning there's no hold whatsoever. My hair is feeling very soft and big. Even with me applying a little bit more to some sections that was a little bit frizzy I noticed that those spots are not um, crunchy so I do like that. This product did give me that long lasting hold because the definition is still there. Lock in moisture. Yes and no. After using this for two days, my hair doesn't feel dry, but as you already know, I would always recommend using a lightweight leave-in conditioner first and then maybe this product after. Just because I have really dry hair, and if you guys have dry hair, you can always use that extra moisture of just using a good leave-in conditioner. So while my hair doesn't feel dry, I wouldn't really 
use it by itself give brilliant shine yes i do see the shine especially yesterday my hair was looking really shiny i feel like it looked a little bit more shiny yesterday it had that wet shiny look today my hair still looks shiny not sure if it picks up on camera but yep i see the shine right here with this mirror so yeah i think it gave that good uh shine to my hair that is said i feel like the only con of this product would be i think the scent that's always available but for me it's a little bit too strong like it it's too strong man like it smells like cake it smells like frosting like you know that icing it just smells too sweet it's too strong for me the good thing is that it doesn't really linger on the hair which i'm happy about but when you do apply it well, when I do apply it, um, when I applied it yesterday, it was strong. And even with me applying a little bit more to take care of some of my frizzy sections, I was like, man, it's still too strong. So that's a con for me. And it was a little bit sticky. I noticed the back of my neck was just a little bit, a little bit sticky. So there's that. This morning, I felt like my hands were a little bit sticky because, of course, I applied more product this morning. And I applied water first to see if I can activate some of the product that was already there. And I did, which I'm happy about because I don't have to really keep applying so much. I was able to work with the product I had yesterday. But when I was working with the product this morning, my hands was a little bit sticky. Just a little bit. So I feel like that would be a con of the product, the scent, and that it was a little bit sticky for me. But overall, I feel like it did everything it claimed that it was going to do. So I'm not mad at this product at all. As you guys can see, day two hair looks pretty good. It feels very soft. It's not dry. Um, I can use leave-in, but it's not drying. My hair looks shiny. My curls are defined. So I'm really liking the results of using this for two days. So... This video shows me that I shouldn't judge a hair product by bad past experience. I should keep an open mind. So I'm happy that I met that girl at Target and she told me to try this product out. So I'm happy about that. But anyways, these are just my overall opinions of this product right here. Now I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? Leave your opinions down below. If there's any other products that you guys would like to see me review next, you can definitely tag me in it or leave a comment down below. I always like to take your recommendations and try products out that way. If you guys found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.